Good day, fleshy mammals. I'm remaking the rib tutorial because old ones ass now. First, you want to download Asset Ripper. I'm using 3.0.1 because it's what I'm using. New ones might be broken, who knows. Verify your game files before ripping because reasons. If you've got the AH-94 or other aircraft that you want ripped with it, go into the DLC folder and copy the asset bundles to VTOL VR data of streaming assets and it will export with the rest. Once that's done, you're going to open up Asset Ripper and make sure script content level is either 1 or 2. 1 is just stugs, 2 is full code. Make sure C Sharp language version is on 9. That's just what I used and it worked. Uh, go to File, Open Folder, VTOL VR, Select Folder. Then once that's all like inside the program, you're going to export export all files uh, just in whatever folder you choose create a new folder call it like VTOL VR V 1.5.4 and that's where it will export once it's exported and says export complete uh, open up the folder go into the subfolders until you get to uh, exported project and then assets uh, lighting data asset delete that because that's going to crash unity when you import then you can drag all of this into the base folder where you exported if you want then you can delete this folder if you want it doesn't hold anything important once that's done you can open up unity hub and then you click open select the folder that you exported to and it'll import it might take like 20 or 30 minutes and if it says open in safe mode just click ignore then once it's imported uh, you're gonna open up scripts and delete every single thing except for assembly C sharp BD learning bot and VT bit converter next at the top left go to edit project settings and in player at the near the bottom there's API compatibility level set that to dotnet 4x and uh, also set active input handling to both so it won't give you a prompt at the start each time now you want to go to shaders and then get hidden UI elements editor UIE delete that and that will fix your package manager from having black squares everywhere uh, then go to window package manager and Unity Registry, you're going to add the uh, get XR plugin management, and once that's done, you want to get Text Mesh Pro as well. In the description, there's a link for Asset Bundle Browser, very useful. Uh, copy that, add package from get URL, that top left, then it'll add it. It basically just lets you. Uh, build asset bundles to directories and it's very useful for making mods in the scripts folder where you deleted a bunch of shit create a new folder called plugins it can also be anywhere doesn't really matter but it's there uh, in the description there will be a list of DLLs that you have to get from VTOL VR data managed in, in the games folder then you can drag the DLLs into the plugins folder that will fix compiler issues. Also, the mod loader DLL, if you want. You can go to Edit Project Settings, XR Plugin Management. If it's not there, just restart Unity. Then, once again, Edit Project Settings, XR Plugin Management, and click Open XR. Now that that's done, just clear console. And these three errors should be all you have to fix, maybe more. They are very simple. Let's just drag from bottom squiggly bracket to the dot after you transform element arriver and replace it with a semicolon. Then it should start importing a bunch of shit or something. And you should just have a working VTOL. To see if it worked, you can just search for a prefab like A Fighter and uh, if 
the root object, like actor and stuff, doesn't have missing scripts, you're good. They can make you stupid F14 nerd.